Folks heading to the beach know what a nightmare Highway 59 can be. Not a fun way to begin a vacation to Gulf Shores or Orange Beach. Local 15 Stephen Quinn joins us live in our Baldwin County Bureau tonight. A new camera system may actually learn how to fix the problem, Stephen? That's right, Greg. You know, and I spoke to a manager of a gas station in Gulf Shores. He tells me among locals, as you mentioned, it, traffic is always the talk of the town. And I also met with a city official who's hoping to change that conversation with some smart cameras. Drive down Highway 59 South on a spring afternoon and traffic looks like this. Come summertime, the picture is often much different. Traffic in the summer um, has on, on several days of the summer exceeded the capacity of Highway 59. Uh, we reach what we call level, level of service F, which is like a, a grade in the school mm -hmm. paper. So you get an F on level of service, it's not a good thing. Mark Ackerman is hoping that a new system called Centrax will help ace the test coming to Gulf Shores. From County Road 8 all the way to the beach along Highway 59, cameras like this one right here will spend the next few months learning your traffic patterns to make the commute much easier this summer. The program analyzes the distance between cars passing through intersections, compiling the data over the course of the entire road in real time to provide a constant flow of traffic. William Duncan's gas station is on Highway 59. He looks forward to seeing the results. When you're headed towards a de destination location like Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, you want to be able to get there uh, and not be stuck and mired in traffic for what can sometimes be hours. Um, so if they put the lights in and it does work, I think it will absolutely be beneficial for everyone. Ackerman says big events in May, like the Hainan Festival, will allow them to calibrate the system to work even better in the summer. He also says if it's successful, he hopes to one day see the program expanded north towards Foley. Reporting live in Baldwin County, Stephen Quinn, Local 15 News. Stephen, thanks.